Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning devotion and prayer time, continuing through the words of Jesus in John chapter 8, beginning John chapter 8 this morning, um, starting at verse 1. The Bible says, Jesus returned to the Mount of Olives, but early the next, the next morning, he was back again at the temple. A crowd soon gathered, and he sat down and taught them. As he was speaking, the teachers of the religious law and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They put her in front of the crowd. Teacher, they said to Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses says to stone her. What do you say? They were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him, but Jesus stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. They kept demanding an answer, so he stood up again and said, All right, but let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Then he stooped down again and wrote in the dust. When the accusers heard this, they slipped away one by one, beginning with the oldest, until only Jesus was left in the middle of the crowd with the woman. Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, Where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? No, Lord, she said. And Jesus said, neither do I. Go and sin no more. So this is a uh, an incredible story um, from the book of John. And um, I think that it is the one of the, the greatest examples of grace and truth in all of scripture. One of the greatest um, narratives, if you will, of how to um, show love and grace to someone and yet at the same time teach them and show them the truth of, of what their actions are and what their life really needs to be. So Jesus is teaching at the temple and the religious leaders, uh, well, first of all, they did not like the fact that Jesus did this stuff. Um, not really sure what their their uh, their thoughts were about Jesus being a rabbi, but I, my guess is that uh, once they started hearing his teaching, they weren't they weren't happy about it. And so, um, they, as Jesus is teaching, they bring this woman who's been caught in adultery, and according to the law they were to stone this woman to death. And uh, when, when Jesus encounters this, we first see the example of extreme grace, of extra grace required. And he says in response to uh, their questioning of him, because they were trying to trap him like they always did about um, whether the law should be fulfilled. And Jesus said, all right, but let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Well, obviously, um, these guys just uh, dropped their stones and uh, and walked away because Jesus had caught them. Jesus had confronted them, and he said, you go ahead and stone her, but any of you who is without sin needs to be the first one to, um, to throw a stone. And obviously, they knew in their hearts, even though they, they would not uh, admit it publicly, but they knew in their hearts that they were indeed sinners. And so they, they left. And Jesus says to the woman, where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? And she said, no, Lord, they're gone. And, and so this is uh, the example of grace that Jesus gives us, the extreme grace that, um, that we all are imperfect people, um, prone to sin, prone to wander, and and grace is needed for us to um, survive in this life. Um, I think if we're all honest with ourselves, we, we deserve um, worse than what we get, and we get grace at a higher rate of uh giving from god than than we really should so that's the example of grace but then jesus ends this encounter um and and this is the 
the conflict that we see uh, throughout scripture, throughout history, and, and we are seeing it today, that people love the, as I have said several times now, the warm and fuzzy Jesus, the, the Jesus that says, where are your accusers? It's okay. They're, they're, not, they're no longer here. They're gone. Everybody loves the warm and fuzzy Jesus, but then Jesus does not leave it there. And this is the 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 Jesus that that everyone uh, well not everyone but but many people have a difficult time with. This is the truth, Jesus, the one who says, "Yes, I love you. Yes, um, I'm offering you grace." But here's the truth. And he says to this woman, "Your accusers are gone. I've defended you. I've I've confronted your accusers. Now, here's what you need to do." leave your life of sin go and sin no more you see the story wouldn't be complete this narrative wouldn't be complete the teaching of jesus wouldn't be complete if jesus said your accusers are gone now just go back to your your the lifestyle that you you have continued to leave no that's not what jesus did jesus said i have defended you i have uh forgiven you now go and make some changes in your life that's where the tough part comes. The tough part is for us to face the truth. The easy part is to receive the grace. The tough part is to face the truth and be willing to make changes that are needed in each one of our lives. But that is what God intends for us. That is how much he loves and cares about us. Will you pray with me? Father, we thank you for Jesus. Um, exhibiting incredible grace and at the same time proclaiming truth help us to understand father that we cannot accept one without the other help us as you lead us to be willing to make the changes that are needed in our lives and we thank you in jesus name amen thank you everyone for joining me this morning i pray you'll have a a wonderful day and until tomorrow morning May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Have a great day. God bless you. Take care.